There's debate over the direct threat of the inserted genes in GMO crops, as they may not be detectable in the human body. But the real danger may come from pesticides associated to genetically modified foods. Genetically engineered seed biotechnology typically has not been used to increase crop yields and nutrition, drought tolerance, but instead for profitable pesticide-resistant products. 80% of the GMO crops are bioengineered only for pesticide resistance. Not surprising, given that the top five biotech companies are chemical companies that manufacture pesticides. This allows farmers to spray herbicides directly onto the crops, uh, raising a theoretical possibility that the level of residues of the herbicide on food we buy at the supermarket may have increased. Or at least it was theoretical until now. Monsanto's Roundup Ready soybeans are the number one GM crop genetically engineered to be resistant to the herbicide Roundup, also sold by Monsanto, allowing farmers to spray fields with the Roundup herbicide glyphosate, which then kills the weeds while leaving the soy standing. Monsanto maintains that Roundup Ready soybeans are compositionally equivalent to that of conventional soy, a concept that is used to argue that GMO foods are therefore safe as non-GMO. But Monsanto didn't report the level of pesticide residues. In fact, some of the comparison tests were done on Roundup Ready soybeans that hadn't been sprayed at all, which is the whole point of having Roundup Ready plants, so you can spray them with Roundup. In contrast to real-life samples from the market, transgenic crops intended for scientific studies are often produced without the application of herbicides, or at doses lower than typically used by farmers. It wasn't until this study was published in 2014 when the full composition of ready-to-market soybeans was analyzed. Here's how much glyphosate was found in the GMO beans, along with a glyphosate breakdown product called AMPA. Here's how much was found in organic soy. None. What about conventional non-GMO soy, where glyphosate is sprayed on the soil to kill weeds between crop cycles? None. So GMO soybeans are really not equivalent. They appear to have substantially more pesticide residues. The debate then shifts from the safety of Roundup Ready soybeans to the safety of Roundup itself. Are those glyphosate residues on GMO soy something to be concerned about? A question we'll explore next.